nice and hot day in here today. As you guys can see, I'm about to uh, get some things done. I'm about to service the transmission on this car. I have a uh, new filter which came with the gasket, but I'm not going to use that gasket because I prefer Felpro. Got a few quarts of transmission fluid, a few more in there if I need them. And I've got the car up on ramps. Now of course, in addition to ramps or other types of uh, jack stands and a jack, you don't want your car to roll backwards. And in this case, the parking brake, or the e-brake in this doesn't work. So I use a pair of wheel chocks because I really don't need another entrance into my garage through the house. So remember, safety first. Now, I'm not servicing this fluid because it's bad. In fact, the guy that I bought this from serviced it within the past year. However, so it's been leaking ever since he serviced it and just kept adding fluid accordingly. It's also over-serviced, so that needs to be dealt with as well. It's a messy job. It's not one that I like doing, especially not in my driveway. But hopefully this pan here and that will collect most of it, if not all of it. And if need be, I've also got a sack of cat sand I can sprinkle down. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll just have to go through and start loosening up all the bolts. And because the car is slanted like this, I'm going to go ahead and try and get the fluid to drain out through the rear instead of through the front or the sides. Can't guarantee that, but I'll try it. And so as you guys can see, I have gone ahead and removed four of these bolts and I'm on the fifth right now. And it's just going to get messier and messier as time goes on. Doesn't help that the wind's blowing a little bit either. I'm just going to let her drain a little bit. Might need to go get another pan, but I hope, I hope not. So it's still leaking a little bit. Just a little bit. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is just continue to pull the pan off. Might get a little messy. Oh yeah. Still fluid in it. So I'll just inspect the inside of the pan. A little bit of metal shavings, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Now there is a little bit of damage here, and I don't know if that was what was causing it to leak, but it might have been. I don't see any other signs of damage or any other spots that really worry me on this thing. Might be a little bit of an arch right there. I might just uh, whack that in a few times with a hammer. Because it did look like it was leaking out of the back. So three bolts removed the old one. Don't forget the little O-ring. Goes up on the pickup tube right there. And now we have our new one. So grab your new O-ring. Put it around the middle. You can... Uh, Put some transmission fluid on it if you'd like. And it's ready to in be installed. Grab your new filter, goes back in the same way the old one came out. Start threading your bolts in by hand. He definitely had this thing over serviced. There should have been about half the fluid that came out of this thing in it. Hope that didn't do any damage to it, but time will tell. I'm going to go ahead and just start tightening them back up. Not too tight, but tight enough. Probably should have a torque on these, but 
I trust my own judgment. So I cleaned off the edges of the old pan, took a hammer to the other side, and pounded that small little lip out that was kind of curved. Did my best with that side, but can't save it, I don't think. So now we have our new gasket. Let's go ahead and see if everything matches up before we stick it all back on. And I'm more or less happy with that. Let's go ahead and reinstall it. One thing you always kind of want to do, stick a couple of your bolts in first. Thread them in through the gasket, because that'll kind of help you hold the gasket in place while you install it. Kind of helps to just start a couple first. Okay, so now, a few quarts of ATF Mercon 5. So what I'll probably end up doing is dumping about two, maybe three quarts in here, letting it sit for a little bit, and then uh, measuring the fluid. Just because I have honest no clue how much fluid is supposed to be in here. Typically it's about three quarts in small transmissions like these. So we'll start with that and see where we can go. So now they're all on and tightened. It was dripping a little bit from the back as I added some fluid, but I went back and tightened them all really well. I thought they were snug at first, but went ahead and snugged them up some more. Probably not going to stop leaking how it was because whatever imperfection is in the transmission pan is uh, small enough to where it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Well. It's small enough to where you can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. So, anyways, let's go ahead and back the car off the ramps, let it run for a little bit, and we'll check and add fluid as needed.